What's up guys and welcome to Tantanis channel. After I did a review on the new Head Gravity Pro, many people asked me for the comparisons to other rackets in the same red class. So in today's video, I will do a quick summary of rackets in the market that have 315 gram unstrung weight, at least for what I can find. So this consists of the Wilson Shift 315, the Pro Staff X, the new Head Gravity Pro, and the Technifiber T5 ISO 315. So basically I will point out the key differences and the characteristics of each racket as well as the group of players that I think the racket should work best for. So stay tuned and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you like this video. Okay, let's start with the Shift 315. This racket is marketed as the spin frame rear racket, but this one came with 18 by 20 swing pattern, headlight balance, thick beam, and pretty high swing weight. I don't like the feeling when holding the throat of the racket with left hand that much because the beam is thick and a bit round on the outside edge. Overall, the racket is really for heavy top spin players. It gives probably the best spin potential for 18 by 20. However, Although I consider myself to have a top spin game, sometimes I just can't get the ball above the net, especially when I want to flatten the ball. The launch angle is pretty low. The racket gives a lot of power when hitting low to high, but when I want to go through the ball, the power drops sharply. Also, the racket requires fast swing, fast racket head speed, but on this one that has really high swing rate of more than 330, I just cannot pull it off. This became an issue to my ground strokes, especially on the backhand side that I hit more flat and push through the ball than on the forehand side. The ball goes in the net quite often. And because my racket head speed doesn't match the racket's criteria, the access to spin is somewhat inconsistent. Also, the racket has small sweet spot, not forgiving and is demanding. The control is decent. I can go with topspin cross court pretty well, but down the line shot is not very accurate. The serve has a lot of power with good percentage. So who this racket is for? I would say advanced players that can handle this high swing weight, mostly hit with heavy topspin on both wings and have attacking game. Among the four rackets in this video, I think this one is the most demanding and difficult to play efficiently with. I prefer the Shift 300 more than this one for my level. Let's move on to the new Wilson Pro Staff X. This racket is a thin beam, headlight balance, 100 square inches head size, 16 by 19 string pattern, medium range string weight. It's one of my favorite racket at the moment. It feels good in the hand and maneuverable like a 90 square inches racket. It's just that uh, the static weight is higher than the normal 90 racket in the market. So compared to the Shift 315, I think the Pro Staff X is a lot easier to play with, is more forgiving and has easier access to spin. Although the spin potential is not as much as the Shift, but this one suits my game style better. It's like more of a top spin through the court style. I can hit well with it without worrying too much about whether I'm gonna get the ball above the net or not. The power level, it's not as much as the shift again, but I can get more pops on my backhand. The control on this frame is top notch. It has precision like a pro staff, but it's more plush at contact like a blade. It prevents you to overheat most of the time. Also the racket is so stable. I think probably the most stable racket among the four rackets in this video can handle heavy ball like a butter. It's great at the net, like a normal pro staff, but it's more bouncy on some angles. And on the serve, I can get more penetration on the ball with good placement, but the power on the serve is not as good as the shift. So who this racket is for? I would say intermediate to advanced level, but it's more toward advanced. It's still demanding to some degree, and requires good timing on the ball. It's good for attacking game from anywhere of the court with some top spin. Actually, I think it works both ways. Flat or spin are fine. 
The next one on the line is the Head Gravity Pro, which is my most favorite 18 by 20 racket. It's a headlight balance, thin beam, low flex, high swing red racket. The paint job on this one is like, oh my god, does it look nice. Overall, this racket is more forgiving than the Pro Star X, especially if you hit flat. It has a large sweet spot and the swing bed gives a lot of pops on both forehand and backhand. It has solid and plush feel with a bit crispiness. The racket has decent power. I think it gives more plow than on the Pro Star X, but not as much as on the shifter. But the power potential is pretty high, especially if you hit flat and can engage your body weight behind every shot. The racket is pretty stable, feels very confident from the baseline. Forehand is really good hitting through the ball, but I don't feel like I can brush the ball that much. It doesn't have a lot of top spin because of that dense string pattern, but compared to other 18 by 20 rackets, I think this one has a lot of top spin. I can play with it with no complaints. But on the backhand, this is where it gets better. I really enjoy the amount of pops I got from my backhand just swinging out through the court. I got a really good power and pace on my backhand. A lot better than on the Pro Stop X. At the net and on the service return, the Gravity Pro is rock solid. Can't get any better, period. The one thing that this racket doesn't shine is on the serve, which is pretty average. But overall, I like this racket a lot on my backhand, but I like my forehand on the Pro Staff X more. So who this racket is for? Intermediate to advanced level, but again more to an advanced. It's demanding and requires hitting early. I think it can go with a lot of game style, but attacking players that mostly hit flat and finish the point at the net could benefit from this racket more. The last one is the Technifiber T5 ISO 315. This is a thin beam headlight balance high stiffness frame with 16 by 19 pattern, medium swing weight. Well, Technifiber is new on the market, not as well known as Wilson or Head or Babolat or Yonex, but they make pretty good racket. First of all, you could be afraid of the stiffness rating that is almost 70. Yes, the racket is firm, not flexy, but it's pretty comfortable. And I like the feel on this racket pretty much because when I hit top spin, firm racket give me a very direct response that helps me predict where the ball is going more than flexi racket like a for example V core. But it's just my preference though. Overall, I like this racket a lot in terms of performance and how it play. What I don't like is just the all white color that sets me off sometimes. I think the racket is easy to play with because the swing weight is not very hardcore. When I strike the ball with this racket, two words pop up in my head. Consistent and reliable. The launch angle is medium and the spin potential is less than the Pro Staff X. But no matter how I hit and how the ball comes, the result is just the same. The ball goes like that on every shot as you can see in the video, around 1-2 to two feet above the net level and lands between the service line and the baseline with some top spin on the ball. There's not much variations, even when I was hitting on the run. The racket also gives nice pops on my forehand and backhand. It's not as much as the Gravity Pro, but better than the Blade 98 for sure. It has a good forgiveness for a 90s branches racket, but it doesn't have a massive sweet spot like the Gravity Pro. Uh, another thing is that the racket is not a fast racket. It doesn't ask for you know fast racket head speed, uh, which could be a good thing for some people. It's more of a swinging through the ball with medium pace. I think this racket is a combination between the Pro Staff X and the Gravity Pro. I can hit my forehand almost like the X, uh, just less top spin, and I can hit my backhand almost like the Gravity Pro. So yeah, it works for me. I feel very confident on the attack. The downside though is the precision. Don't get me wrong, the control on this racket is really good, especially on depth control, and I can place the ball really well on rally. However, I don't think it has a precision that the Pro Staff, the Blade, and the Gravity have. 
when I have advantages on the attack and aim for the line, the ball just go a little bit too extreme on the side, like it goes out sometimes. Another downside is that the racket lacks firepower. I don't feel like the ball is heavy compared to other three rackets in the video. Probably need some modifications. The serve and return are a bit above average, but don't feel like it shines on that. It was good at the net, nothing to complain. So who this racket is for? Uh, intermediate and advanced server again. Players who like to construct a point from the baseline. Uh, players who hit flat or some topspin, but not like the Dow heavy topspin. In summary, all four rackets in the video require some extra works to play with. They are not easy rackets, and they are more demanding than other rackets in general. And for me, the Gravity Pro amazed me the most, but I think the T5 315 works pretty well for my game. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and see you next time.